Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a second round FA Trophy win against Weymouth 4-2. Adam, what a game that was in the end, a lot of goals. What did you make of it? No, uh, yeah, I think you can see that in the first 15 minutes there's going to be goals in uh, today's game. Um, I think the first 20 minutes we just didn't get going at all. We, for whatever reason, we didn't win the first ball, we didn't win the second ball, we didn't really get close to them at all and it was far too easy to, for um, for Weymouth and too, it was too easy to play against. Um, I thought we got a grip of that a little bit, um, started then to have better decisions on the ball and yeah, the second goal I thought was, was a really exceptional goal, um, really enjoyed watching that one um, and it just to score so quickly together uh, just seemed to set us down and yeah we got into a good rhythm after that and um, um, showed what this team can do if, if we get going. You mentioned the quality of that second goal, it was a really quick break um, so soon after the first goal as well, it was like the intensity ramped up at that moment, was that a tactical decision or was that just the players kicking into gear? Yeah I think it was just the players um, just kicking into gear, finding a bit of confidence um, you know, obviously settled us down, getting getting the first goal um, like we did. Um, but yeah, it just it's, it's just the players. Um, we didn't change anything. Um, our end, um, it's just a case of them sort of getting getting scripts for the game. Um, but it took way too long for us to do that. It was we did get scripts for it though. We ended up four one up by the end. Two goals for Oli. Uh, loves two goals against Weymouth. Same as last time. How was it for him getting a few goals again? No, yeah, you uh, and Cal as well. You want the forward players to to start getting goals and getting confident again because you know we've got my full belief in them. Um, the good players are good enough for this level. It's just a case. Sometimes I think it's in their heads a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's it was really pleasing. Obviously, we've got um, Aaron and Kane, a um, bit of experience in there, but. You know, there's a lot of lot of young players out there. I don't know if there's like four teenagers in the end with Mo and Josh, the two fullbacks again, Joe and, and Ruben. And um, you know, it's when when they get going and, and they're confident and believe in themselves. I think we got glimpses of, of what they can do. You mentioned that young team and that midfield, uh, Josh Josh Chambers and uh, Mo Dabray, both low knees. Mo, that was his first appearance for us. What do you make of him today? No, yeah, I think he showed. You know. Um, Again, glimpses of, of what he's all about. Um, full of energy. Um, I think the fans will, will love love watching him play. He'll leave everything out there. He'll cover every blade of um, 3G pitch or grass that we play on, um, and that's all you can ask for. And you know, I think he showed at times he's, he's got some quality in his feet as well. Um, some of his tackling was really good, and yeah, there's just them to come in and just added us a little bit more quality in that central area that we was looking for. Um, seems to have, have really helped us out. Josh Chambers coming alone from uh, Gillingham. His loan should be up quite soon. I think two games time. Is there any chance of that being extended? No, yeah, we we'll look at it. We we'll look at um, you know players that we've got coming back and, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, hopeful. I think he's enjoyed his, his um, little stint with us and hopefully we can um, keep that going. But yeah, conversation that I'll have with Gillingham and, and, and see where they are, see what they're thinking and their thoughts are on Josh. Um, you know, there might be one that they want back in their ranks to have a little look at after he's got some game time. But yeah, we're looking at assess it and, and see where we are. But um, yeah, there's encouraging signs. I thought um, it's great to have Joel back out there. Lewis White get back on the pitch. Um, I think even like Mo Shabar today uh, showed, you know, again some some glimpses of what he can do. Um, just needs a goal now to settle him down a bit, I think. But he's been training really hard in the week as well. Totally agree. He looks a lot more dynamic and a bit more like himself today. Joel coming back in as well as you mentioned. How much of a big boost is that from to get a full ninety today as well? Yeah, it's massive, massive. Joel, I think like just his his attitude that he has to the game. Um, He's wholehearted. He's you know he's aggressive. He's a winner, um, and you know you, you do miss that on the pitch. Um, so yeah, just it, that and his quality that he shows as well. And um, yeah, to have someone that can throw a ball um, helps us as well because uh, that's definitely been missing. Um, but oh, yeah, fantastic boost for, to have us, uh, Joel back. And you know we've got one or two that are edging closer as well. So. Just look, I look around the dressing room now and it's, it's a good squad. You've got a real young, vibrant squad and you know what you want is um, players when they get their opportunity, they've got to play well to keep the shirt. And um, you know, I think that's 
what we're striving towards and, and we're gradually um, getting that from the players as well. When you talk about the quality of the squad, it'd be a can be Lewis White and Mo Schwab coming off the bench. That's not too bad an option to bring on halfway through a game. No, it's not. And you know, also Luca Cocoraccio, um, not even featured today after how well he's done since he's come back in as well. Um, I just said to him that you know he can feel a bit aggrieved, but wanted to get Joel back out there and get some minutes, and um, thought it was an opportunity to do that. But yeah, I think I'm quite fair. I give all the players try to rotate the squad round and keep it fresh um, because I think with a young young group, you want to have that freshness out on the pitch. So you know, just to have have some changes um, when it's needed um, is, is vital to us. And you know, Dan Bowery, Luca. Um, Sammy and Comrade um, not even getting on today. Adam and Mo Jammer not even in the squad. So uh, JB hopefully edging closer as well. So yeah, it's, it's it's good. Real competition for places, and that's what you want as a manager. You want um, you know difficult decisions, and you know, I'm certainly going to have them in the upcoming weeks. Yeah, it's going to be a busy week as well. So probably a lot of time for these players. What are you hoping uh, to bring into Tuesday? No, yeah, just to start the game a bit better. Um, be more competitive, um, you know, like say first and second balls, who was just not there for a long period of that first half and um, second half when we started to you know, deal with that that threat a little bit, um, you know, I think I had one player under six foot, um, so a big strong side, but you know, you've got, you've got to cope with it, if you don't win the first one, let's be latching on to all the second balls and we, we didn't win nowhere near enough of them, so, you know, bags for us to, to work on, um, you know, I don't think... Harrison deserved to think a clean sheet, a couple of his punches and a couple of saves were were top draw. Um, but yeah, just for to concede to needless penalty at the end, he's going away from goal, so a bad challenge. Um, and just give them a little bit of momentum towards the end. So we've got to learn on, on one or two aspects defensively um, and just have some belief in, in what we do um, and when we have the ball. But in the hat for the next round, third round of the FA Trophy, a good start to a potential cup run. No, yeah, hopefully, yes, yeah, what we want. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully we can have a cup run because it's the one thing the fans always say that you know they'd love to have a bit of a cup run, and you know, I've let them down in, in recent years on on that front. So yeah, I want to sort of repay their faith with uh, a bit of a cup run, which would be nice. Nice, all the best, Adam. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you, mate.